So for my motor stringers, actually what I used is uh, a Honduran mahogany, which I believe is the same as uh, genuine mahogany. And I, I used uh, two laminations of um, four-quarter stock, but it was finished down to roughly three-quarters uh, thickness. And uh, so I ripped them to the right uh, width. And so what I did is I, I um, also had to scarf I had to make scarf joints uh, to make these because the pieces of lumber weren't long enough. And the way that I did that is I used my table saw and I um, made another jig and using those uh, runners, the uh, miter uh, runners, and uh, then I attached a piece of lumber at an angle. And uh, for the scarf joints, I think I went for an eight to one ratio, which I think is the minimum you really want to do. And uh, then so I had a table beside the, the uh, table saw, and what I would do is slide this at an angle. Um, but I'll show you uh, some close-ups. So actually I have two jigs, one for one side of the saw that holds it at an angle, and one for the other because the blade <clears throat> doesn't isn't deep enough, of course, to go all the way through. And again, you got to be really careful doing this because obviously there's no, there are no guards on this uh, blade. So... Um, be very careful where your safety glasses and so forth. So, um, so there's that. You can see a, this is a top view, and so this is that piece of lumber that's attached, fixed to this uh, jig, and then uh, this is the this is the uh, uh, one of the lamin laminations um, for the motor stringers that I'm about to cut, and you'll see here in a second how that works, and it's clamped here. So you really need to be careful, pay attention, but this works really well. What I did is I, after I stopped the blade for this first cut, I just took a picture of it so you could kind of see what it looks like. So just a little over halfway uh, through the width of that. And then what I do is use my other jig with another angle, but basically angles the same uh, in the opposite direction. And so then you flip, flip this board over and clamp it on and then carefully run it through the, the saw. There's the other side of that picture I just took. You can see I'm getting ready to make this cut, and this is what it looks like after the first cut. And I want to show this picture because it takes some fine tuning. You can see that I was a little bit short here. And so the way I fixed that is I unclamped it, and then I would slide this piece forward just a little and clamp it again, and I just would ease my way right up to it, and then you end up with a really nice cut. And so it's a really good way to make uh, scarf cuts and there's an example of what you end up with and uh, and there's uh, all my pieces that I have with with the, the scarf scarf joints or the scarf cuts all made and then what I do of course is then I have to uh, first glue the one side of lamination glue the uh, scarf joint so if I zoom in here a little bit you can see what I'm doing is I'm gluing uh, both scarf joints for each lamination. Then after that dries up, um, I actually had, uh, I believe I had to use two scarf joints because these these uh, stringers are pretty long. Um, and then what I did is I offset, I offset these. So when when you take the laminations, glue them together, I made sure the scarf joints were offset by at least a foot, so they were not. Uh, right near each other. So there I'm gluing those laminations together and this is just showing a close-up of, of what you want to see when you actually are gluing lumber and even a scarf joint. Um, so you can see if I zoom in, you want a nice thin layer of epoxy. You don't want to overclamp uh, any kind, anytime you're, you're epoxy. You don't want to overclamp. You don't want to squeeze all the epoxy out. So you get a nice, uh, uh, nice layer of epoxy and there you can see it on the scarf joint as well. So here are my motor stringers after they're done and then I made some of the cuts for the uh, for the plans and so they turned out really well and I think uh, making uh, motor stringers using laminations like this is a, a really good way to do it. Um, I think they end up being stronger but you can also use uh, you know two by six uh, standard lumber, but you want to use Douglas fir uh, if you do that. But I just I didn't have a local source for some nice dry Douglas fir, so I had to make them 
myself, but they turned out really well. And then here's a picture um, after I am encapsulated them. And uh, there I can zoom in a little bit and show you. I mean, you can just kind of see, obviously, the scarf joints were right in these areas here. And then further up, there are also scarf joints that you can't really see. Um, so that is how I made the motor stringers.